Well, hello everybody. I'm on here at Creepy World, as promised. And we have this ghoul band here that we can sell. This thing has been sitting here for three years. We have not used it at all. And you can see it's turned on and you can see the animations are not doing everything they're supposed to. That's probably a case of it just sitting forever. All of the characters have silicone masks. And you see it has this uh, CGI over here where the guy starts off as a real person then he turns into the Invisible Man. And then it also has one of these things in it. And you can see the projector up there. But these are all VP animations. So how many are in here? This is a Mr. Howell. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven animations. That plus the CGI effect and it was totally redone by us many, many years ago. Um, it's really dirty on the floor. But this is actually in a trailer. So you just hook your truck up to it and you take it. What I would do with it, it's gonna need a new controller, obviously. And it's gonna have to have probably a little work done to the animations. There's nothing wrong with them other than maybe the pistons are, don't work. But they're all cheap. They're like $20 pistons. Um, it comes with a compressor. And you can see that's what runs it. And here's the controller. I don't know. We haven't used it in three years. We just stopped using it. What it really needs to do is it needs to be wrapped. This trailer, believe it or not, came from Spooky World, Minnesota. That's where it was. And you can see at one point it was says scarefest.com. That was actually hand painted on there. But today you would just wrap it. That's what you would do. So we're here at Creepy Roll. And I want to mention really fast um, that we still have props for sale at the darkness. We have pretty much like all the Christmas stuff. We're willing to make a deal. We want to get rid of it. We're trying to make room. Because, big news, I hired an architect to start the drawings on filling in the darkness in the back, which would add 1,500 square feet. Now, I want to mention that we have um, no plans on exactly what we're going to put in this new space in the darkness. But what we do know is that TerraVisions, if... The plans go through and we start to build it and everything else TerraVisions will be for sale so when we're talking about selling stuff oh my goodness a whole entire haunted house will be for sale okay, imagine that I did not uh, sell it last year even though I had lots of offers because I realized I didn't have time to replace it so I want to do things in order I want to get this new section of of the building built onto the back of the escape room that connects to the darkness and just so we're on the same page that means the whole wall that faces that wedge would come down uh, it's non it's a non-structural wall it's just veneer so yeah it would come down and it would open it up and that would make that section that wedge which would be about 1500 square feet it would end up when you connect it to the other part of the shop it would be in the neighborhood of um, 7,200 square feet. So my goal is to try to take the televisions away, do some new exit of the darkness, more of a photo experience, like something where you go through and you take a lot of photos, some kind of like wow moment. And for those who don't know, we just got a liquor license. And so obviously we would be building some monster bars some secret bars things of that nature we would expand our gift store just a little bit but there would be no more television so that will be for sale and you can have it and you can make offers on it right now and i can confirm that you can buy it just as soon as just as soon as i know for a fact that we're building the addition to the darkness. If you bought TerraVisions, you would need to be there 
literally the day after we close to take it out and take it away because we'll be replacing it uh, there shortly thereafter so we'll do another video to highlight TerraVisions um, but yeah that's the plan so right now we're at Creepy World. And let's talk about some of the things that we want to do here. So this is our retail gift store. I have bought a 40 yard container that has roll up doors on this side, it has three of them. And so we're gonna replace this and do a complete retail store slash food right there. And then what this is gonna be, now this is kind of cool. You see we have a movie theater. We show horror movies on there. We rent them. Um, you pay a fee and uh, you can show them so this is the queue line over here at creepy world to get to the entrance which is way the heck over there and this is the entrance to our pumpkin patch right here so <clears throat> this is the exit of creepy world this is like when you've come out of the whole thing you come out right here and so what this is gonna be is just a photo op experience it's gonna be absolutely free and you've seen, old fashioned, I have uh, marked out a queue line for it. You'll go in right here, you'll go around and in. So this is just gonna be a selfie horror museum, okay? And I'm actually gonna do this like really clever. At least I think it's gonna be clever. So I'm buying monsters and they'll be all in here. And then to theme it, I'm gonna get a banner made. And the banner will tell you what the monster is and then I'll take rough cut cedar and I'll frame the banner on that's it now there is gonna be a header that goes from here to there and here to here so there'll be monsters there and there there and there there and there you know all the way around and maybe you might put like an electric chair animation or something like that in here and it's gonna be absolutely free and in everywhere you look with these banners you know what you're gonna see you're gonna see, you are gonna see, follow us on Instagram. You're gonna see, visit the darkest haunted house. You're gonna see, go to St. Louis Escape. But you're also gonna learn about monsters. You're gonna learn about ghouls and monsters and paranormal activity, and you're gonna learn about all this good stuff. So, if that's how it's gonna be themed. And believe it or not, it's gonna go pretty fast once we get going um, now I'm gonna walk back and it's already getting dark so I can't really show you good but I'm gonna walk back here you know what that's if I can even find my way back um, but we're rebuilding a haunted house here and it's gonna be called monster mansion and it used to be called Krampus and now it's gonna be Monster Mansion this is gonna be the fastest haunted house I've ever built and do you know why you can build it super fast because of experience you learn how to do things faster you learn how to do things cutting corners so that it doesn't look like you cut corners I mean that's the goal that's absolutely the goal. And I've come up with a plan that I think actually is gonna be fantastic. And it's gonna be called Monster Mansion. Basically it's gonna be vampires and werewolves and uh, things of this nature. We build mini golfs, laser tanks. And I have sold so many of these things, we don't have time to build them. So I'm having somebody come in outside of our company to build a facade so we're gonna have to take this facade down more than likely it'll go in the trash and there it is and this haunted house has been stripped now if we go in here we're probably not gonna be able to see anything let me get my phone out and see if I can get some light Hold on. Well, there you go. So, you're getting it before and you'll get an after. So this used to be a Krampus haunted house. We're gonna re-theme it. 
There is going to be no walls moved, nothing changed, everything exactly the same. We're just going to retheme it. And it's going to be the fastest retheme that we've ever done. My goal is that within one week, this whole thing is rethemed. in terms of the skeleton of it, the nuts and bolts. So, how am I gonna do it? And then you see this pathway. Well, I'll explain it to you. So I'm gonna build what I did for the darkness. I'm gonna build a pathway here where it goes this way, that way, this way, that way, of coffins that you'll weave in and out of and there'll be you know animations and you know here and there and then this bus will come out and a big animation will go there so that's going to be the finale that's how you're going to get out but what i'm going to do in here this is going to be legendary because of how fast we do it let me explain it to you and before i do whoops i'm trapped in here but before i do and I wanted to let you know that we're gonna document this, okay? Meaning we are going to videotape and upload to the Haunt World channel and the Scarefest channel. Um, because, as we talked about in another video, um, you know, how you want to, um, you want to create content for your customers and you want to do that by documenting the things that you do. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to document us redoing this haunted house. And it's going to go fast. This is literally going to be the fastest retheme we've ever done. So that maze is exactly 1,000 square feet because that's what it has to be to avoid having a sprinkler system. And then to get to another maze, you have to have a 20 foot divider between. So we theme those dividers, where I told you I'm gonna put the coffins and the animation at the end. We theme those to make it seem like you're still in the haunted house. So it goes indoor, it goes outdoor. So here's how we're gonna do it. I'm going to take vacuum form and cover every single wall in vacuum form. And I am going to do it in a creative way. I'm not gonna just stick vacuum foam on the wall like a Joe Blow haunt would do. We're gonna mix it up. We're going to frame all the vacuum foam in with like rough cut cedar. We're gonna box it in in four foot by four foot sections. We're gonna take two by twos and make like beams. Two by two on the wall with a, like say a one by three on top to give it that raised look of maybe like a structural beam. And we'll frame them in that way as well. Every door jam will have the same treatment, a block look. We're going to try to make it look like you're kind of in a castle. And we're not just gonna throw vacuum foam on the wall because that's too easy. <coughs> we're gonna really be mixing it up. And it's gonna look fantastic, I'm telling you. And then, for the scenes, what we're gonna do is it's gonna be primarily, primarily I say, um, it's gonna be primarily um, animatronics. So I have bought animatronics from some vendors that are, scenic based and what I mean by scenic based is the animation isn't necessarily scary but it's gonna be the scene that's how it's gonna be done it's gonna be the scene so every room will have some animations that perform like a scenic look and that's how it's gonna be done so and then of course you put in actors and whatnot and It'll be 
a really cool new haunt at Creepy World. It's going to be a totally different look because see, Creepy World does not have any gothic style haunted houses. So this will be the first in many, many years. We've had them before, um, but not in a long, long time. So that's the plan. I can tell you that whenever you do an indoor-outdoor haunt, it's really easy to get good theming. Especially like if you do like say an old farmhouse as an example you do an old farmhouse You can do like corn stalks old tractor equipment Okay, these are all things easy things to acquire and build a farmhouse another easy thing to build and you literally Will just theme the whole thing uh, with natural props and it looks natural and real that is by far one of the easiest haunts to build it's some like old creepy pig farm kind of thing because you can go around and pick this stuff up anywhere and everywhere so very easy to do so that's just kind of what's going on but right now we're gonna build the monster mansion we're gonna do the selfie museum and we're also going to redo our hayride. Now, I want to talk about one other thing. Transworld. Our goal is to open Creepy World for Transworld. The only way to do that, and I want to show you. This does not look like it's ready to open. You see stuff that's falling down. You see, if you go over there, you see boards that are falling and breaking. That's what happens when you're outside. The rain, the sleet, the snow, the freezing, water, all that stuff. Like you don't even see this. There's a big banner that goes over it. So you don't, you don't even see it. But yeah, all of this stuff has to be redone. If we open Creepy World for Trans World, we will have to secure the haunt in a way that we've never done it before. So actually it's gonna be very costly. But the idea is to come back, unscrew it, and then maybe in a couple weeks, <sighs> try to get everything working again. It's not gonna be easy because it's so cold in St. Louis in the winter. But some days it's actually really nice. So I don't know. We're going to try, we're going to see if it's possible. And if it is possible, we'll give it a try. But I can't say for sure, but we're gonna give it a try. So I was thinking about a haunt tour for next year. This is what I came up with. Um, like Wednesday night, do behind the scenes tour at the darkness. I already know all the scenes that we want to redo at the darkness. And some of them I'm actually going to redo now. I have a guy coming in from Louisville that might help me do a couple things that I want to do really quickly. And so that's a possibility. Um, but yes, we would redo the darkness. Of course we would. The lamp, what's really funny about the lamp is uh, <laughs> we... We renovated it after Transworld was over. We just never had time to get over there. We've actually installed about seven brand new animations over there since Transworld was over. Now that's not like considered like a real renovation, but we took out a bunch of old stuff <coughs> and put in brand new stuff. And we still have stuff on order that's coming that we're gonna also put into Limp, okay? So we're working on all this stuff. All this stuff is part of the plan. So what I was thinking, this is just off the top of my head, is on Wednesday, do a behind the scenes tour of the darkness. And then on Thursday, do a limp um, with actors. On Friday, do the darkness with actors and on Saturday do creepy world with actors 
I don't know. Now I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get ridiculed for it, I already know. Okay. I mean, I, I'm 100% I'm gonna get ridiculed. I know this for an absolute fact. But, I'm gonna say it anyway. If I open Creepy World, the lamp, the darkness. If I open them all, it will be the very, very last haunt tour that I will ever do. Now you heard it right now, and somebody's gonna say, you said that before, and you're right, I have said it before. And guess what? In 2020, we didn't open, because the show didn't happen. We didn't open in 2021. There goes my... We didn't open in 2021. In 2022, all we did was a 275 person behind the scenes tour. In 2023, all we did was a 275 person behind the scenes tour. It wasn't until this last Halloween show that we actually opened up the lamp. The lamp hadn't been open since 2019. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's five years, folks. Five years, no lamp. The darkness hadn't opened with actors since 2019. For those who don't realize, that's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That was five years. We did not open. So yes, we are moving in the direction of no longer opening for the haunt tour. Now, people are gonna say, you're just saying that. Well, let me explain something to you. The, uh, you know, when you go through, like all winter, you can't go on vacation, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. You're literally glued to your location and the, every day you see another day go by and you're not ready to go. Basically just wears you down. And you know, I have to be honest, like when Halloween's over, that's a good time for maybe me to get away from St. Louis. Like, not worry about doing any of these things. And maybe going somewhere warmer um, for the winter. Makes sense, right? So I would like to have a lot less stress in my life. And I'm not gonna be doing these haunt tours till I'm 60 and I'm getting closer to being 60 than I am to being 50, <laughs> okay? And, um, no, I, I don't know. I was just thinking, like, you know, go out with a bang and just do it all out one last time, and that's it. I don't know if I want to do all these big renovations anymore. You know, I'm thinking about maybe I'd like to have a house in Florida. Maybe I'd like to, in, you know, if I bought it, to enjoy it. But I don't have time to enjoy it. Selling mini golfs, I'm going to trade shows. Do you know how many trade shows I've been to uh, since Halloween ended? I went to IAPA, that's one. I went to the Museum Expo. I went to Transworld. I went to the CinemaCon. That's four, right there. And I still have one more to go to, Bowl Expo. And then I might go to Monster Palooza, and I might go to Eastern State, whatever that is. I don't even know what that's called. Uh, I might go on behalf of uh, Fear Ticket and help sell Fear Ticket at that show. Maybe, maybe I go, maybe I don't, I don't know. But when I, I didn't hardly even go to Transworld. Why? Because I was so busy with haunt tours. So all of these bozos online, and I call them bozos because they run their mouth, they say bullshit, and I'm sorry that I cuss, but I mean, if you know me, I say much worse. Um, but they run their mouth and they say all these things. They don't even know the first thing that goes into trying to get your haunted house um, when you're trying to do something major and you just literally up in your whole life uh, for four months and this is all you focus on and this is all you do. Now, I would be taking on the limp, the darkness, and, and creepy world. Not to mention the fact we're trying to get a new escape room done and on top of all of that, we might be trying to finalize this new building and then we have a renovation there. And I think, like, I really want that to be like my last big renovation. So the point is, if we can get Creepy World open, 
I think we would call it a day on haunt tours. Probably forever. Maybe we would do something. Because you know, I'm in an age now where you just do something because you feel like it. And if you don't feel like it, you don't do it. It's just that simple. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. <sighs> so, that's the video for today. And if you're interested in the ghoul band, if you're interested in all the props and animations that we still have for sale, and if you're interested in TerraVisions, reach out to me at info at scarefest.com. And follow the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, you know, um, I would like to get our subscribers to 20,000. I don't know. It just would make me uh, motivated to keep making videos and showing you guys how to do stuff. So please share the channel with people. Maybe what I should start doing is giving away $10,000 if when we hit $20,000, giving away, I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, I do want to reach out and I do want to help people. And I do want to mention that we are going to upload more uh, of these old how-to videos. We have more to upload and we are going to upload more of them. So that is coming. I think we still have, I don't even know, like maybe eight or 10 more to go. Um, we do also, we also plan to go to uh, Detroit and film a couple haunts there. And I want to go to the Christmas house. And I want to go, if I go to Philadelphia, I'm going to try to visit some places there. Uh, we want to get back to doing some haunt tours and trying to like give information to the haunted house industry. And I do want to mention that I have a video that I uploaded today that everybody should watch because I go through it and talk about is this the replacement for escape rooms because if you're in the attraction business you got to stay up on like what's new what's happening um, and evolve with the times I mean it's just that simple when you look at creepy world here this place has changed so dramatically over the last you know five or ten years we've actually downsized it quite a bit and we've added more photo experiences and this whole new attraction is going to be nothing but photo experiences that's exactly what it's going to be photo experiences so with that being said make sure you like and subscribe to the channel uh, we're going to do more videos uh, soon and hopefully um, we talk about topics that you would like me to talk about so uh, <clears throat> leave a comment and tell me what kind of video you would like me to do and I'll tell you this much right now if we get to 20,000 uh, followers which would make me really happy you know on TikTok we are at 850,000 followers this is crazy on Instagram we have 34,000 but I would like on Haunt World channel to get to 20,000 I don't know why I just would like to so please tell everybody to subscribe and we'll keep making videos to help your business but leave a comment below and if we get to 20,000 videos or subscribers, I don't care if you're a home haunt or a professional haunt or whatever. When we hit 20,000, we'll have a contest where I will come to your haunted house and spend an entire day with you helping you. Uh, doesn't matter. Your home haunt. Uh, your professional haunt it does not matter I want to come see you at your place make a video with you and I want to help you personally like by being right there on the ground um, just take me to dinner get me some ice water because I hate the the summer when it's hot I gotta have a lot of ice water no hot water like I got in China and um, and I'll come to your haunt I'll come to your haunt we'll spend the whole day reviewing your haunt, giving you ideas, marketing tips, whatever it is. We just gotta get to 20,000 subscribers. We just gotta spread the word. Anyway, um, so take care and get in touch with me at info at scarefest.com. We're also gonna make another video showing you what props we have left for sale at the darkness. All right, so 
we will be making a lot more videos right here at Creepy World as we start to get it all together. That's right. And uh, every time we do more renovations at Creepy World, we're going to make another video. What do you think? All right. So we're going to transition from the darkness. We're going to transition right here to Creepy World. And uh, hopefully next Trans World, you'll be here at Creepy World and we'll open it for the haunted house industry. Until then. Happy hauntings.